Are you ready for a bombshell revelation that's shaking the very foundations of bureaucracy? Brace yourselves, because this news is about to blow your mind. Picture this. Senators have unleashed an unprecedented storm by sending a thunderous letter straight to the Social Security Administration. And guess what? We've got our hands on it. That's right, folks. Get ready to dive into the heart of this seismic development that's set to reshape the landscape of social welfare as we know it. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the latest news and updates on economic stimulus packages. I'm your host, Joseph, and today we have some exciting developments to share with you. But before we dive into today's updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update on all things stimulus-related. We're here to keep you informed and empowered during these challenging times. All right, let's jump right in. We're here with a groundbreaking revelation that's sending shockwaves through the corridors of power. Strap in, because this is big. Can you believe it? Senators have just fired off a bombshell letter to the Social Security Administration, and we've got our hands on it. That's right, folks. We're not just here to give you a snippet. We're delving deep into the heart of this momentous development, and you're in for a ride. Now, if you're receiving Social Security benefits, SSDI Veteran Affairs perks, or any form of senior or disability benefits, you're in for a treat or maybe a wake-up call. This letter is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a game-changer, and we're about to break it down for you. Stick with us till the very end, because you won't want to miss a single detail. We must also address the elephant in the room, higher income taxes. It's baffling to think that Social Security benefits have been subject to income tax since 1984. Imagine earning benefits only to have them taxed upon receipt. It's an injustice that must be rectified. But before we unleash the letter, here's a juicy tidbit. Senators are actively advocating for more stimulus checks. Yes, you heard it right. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you support the idea of $2,000 monthly stimulus checks for all adults and dependents until this inflation nightmare takes a back seat? Could an extra $2,000 a month make a tangible difference in your life? Don't hold back. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's pivot back to the main event, the letter that's causing ripples in the social security pond. This isn't just a correspondence, it's a demand for change, an insistence on accountability. Are you ready to unravel the layers of this epistle? Grab your popcorn, hit that like button, and let's get started. Straight from the hallowed halls of the United States Senate, the letter is addressed to none other than Commissioner Ellie at the Social Security Administration headquarters in Baltimore, Maryland. It's a stern letter, highlighting the plight of beneficiaries grappling with unexpected overpayments, a crisis disproportionately affecting the most vulnerable in our society. Picture this, elderly individuals, disabled citizens, retirees pillars of our community facing the financial turbulence caused by overpayments they never signed up for. The urgency in the letter is palpable. It's a rallying cry for the agency to step up, to enhance its processes, and to ensure that those dependent on these benefits aren't left stranded. Now, here's the jaw-dropping statistic. Over $20 billion in overpayments hangs like a dark cloud over the system. It's not just a number, it's a stark reality. The senators are standing firm, emphasizing that it's high time for a change. The agency needs to tighten its processes, reduce overpayments, and alleviate the burden on those already grappling with financial hardships. But wait, there's more. The senators aren't merely pointing fingers, they're offering solutions. They want guidelines, controls, legislative efforts, a comprehensive strategy to stem the tide of overpayments and shield the most vulnerable members of our community. And they're not stopping there. The letter is brimming with questions, demanding answers. How will the agency prevent overpayments? What tools will be utilized? How can they simplify the process for beneficiaries? 
These are the queries that demand attention and resolution, and they need answers now. So, what's the next move? The ball is in the agency's court. It's time to rise to the occasion, to make the necessary improvements, and to ensure that every penny is directed where it's needed most in the hands of those who depend on it for survival. The heart of this proposal lies in its intent to bridge the gap between the haves and the have-nots. For too long, the social security system has been riddled with inequalities, leaving many struggling to make ends meet while others enjoy more comfortable circumstances. But now, there's hope on the horizon. By guaranteeing a minimum monthly benefit of $1,215 for all Social Security recipients, regardless of their individual circumstances, this proposal promises to uplift millions out of financial uncertainty. It's not just about providing monetary support, it's about restoring dignity and security to those who need it most. But as with any major reform, there are bound to be challenges and concerns. Critics argue that redistributing funds in this manner could lead to unintended consequences, potentially leaving some beneficiaries worse off than before. And let's not forget the logistical hurdles of implementing such a massive overhaul. However, the potential benefits far outweigh the risks. Not only would this proposal provide much-needed relief to those struggling on the margins, but it could also inject new life into the Social Security program itself. By ensuring that every beneficiary receives a fair share of the pie, we're not just addressing immediate financial needs, we're investing in a more equitable future for all. And let's talk about the numbers. A projected savings of $1.30 trillion for the Social Security program is nothing to scoff at. That's a significant sum that could be reinvested into shoring up the program's long-term sustainability ensuring that future generations can also benefit from its support. But hey, this isn't the end. It's just the beginning of a crucial conversation. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this letter? How do you believe it will impact your life and the lives of those around you? Drop us a comment and let's keep this discussion alive. Remember, your opinion holds immense value. It's the catalyst for change, the spark that ignites progress. So keep voicing your concerns, keep advocating for what's right, and together, we can make a real difference. Now, that's not all for today, wonderful viewers. We're not just leaving you hanging, we're committed to bringing you more updates, more insights, and more excitement. Until then, stay informed, stay connected, and, as always, spread the love. We'll catch you in the next one. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos.